Now to the mega merger that's taking Wall Street by storm. And what is the biggest takeover announced so far this year? Germany's buyer, as we told you, finally clinching that deal for rival Monsanto. It's valued at a stunning $66 billion. But don't go celebrating this harvest just yet. The deal is facing the storm of scrutiny from regulators and investors alike, including this latest bombshell coming from London Asset Management. Royal London Asset Management has analysts who are warning that national security, of all things, could be a big hurdle here as well. National security. I sat down with the two guys who circled each other for months on this deal, buyer CEO Werner Baumann and Monsanto CEO Hugh Grant, weighing in on why this deal hits the bullseye, not only for shareholders, but for farmers and foodies as well. If you look at the humongous challenges that uh, growers are confronted with of having to produce ever more uh, on a limited acreage uh, in order to actually feed an ever-growing population, our purpose is really to bring better solutions faster to growers so that they can increase yield and with that contribute to feeding a rapidly growing population. I, I find it fascinating. I'm, I'm looking at you too, Mr. Grant. You're the Scottish optimist. Mr. Bauman, you're the German economics expert. Uh, you two have been circling each other on the dance floor since May. But Mr. Grant, you battled buyer initially. What ultimately got you to tango? Well, I, th I think at the end of the day, it's about opportunity. This, this is a, it's a great deal for uh, our share owners. It's a 40 plus percent premium. It's a 18 uh, times multiple. So it's, it, it's great for our share owners. But to Werner's point, more importantly, uh, this is a great deal for farmers because farmers are starving for innovation. So as, as we looked at this, I've been talking about this for, for years, mm -hmm. that the uh, unlocking the, the innovation and bringing chemistry, seeds, biotechnology and data science, data science together, I think that's a big piece of the future for our industry. And yet we've got to get to this. Uh, the probability of ultimate success of this merger is still a question mark. At least a couple of analysts here in the U.S. give it a somewhat paltry 50 percent chance of being approved by regulators. Yet you guys are forging ahead. What do you know that the analysts don't that makes you so optimistic? Well, Liz, uh, we have certainly analyzed uh, this whole question of how the companies come together, also from a regulatory perspective, intensively, individually in both companies, together. beyond that, together, yep. supported by high-level antitrust lawyer su uh, support. Sure. And uh, we are very, very confident that we will be able to get this transaction to a close responding oh. to the regulatory questions we are going to have. And the beauty about this uh, combination is that uh, it is so highly complementary, both from a product portfolio perspective, from a technology perspective, and also from a regional perspective. And uh, that drives an additional level of confidence in yet, uh, 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 the regulatory clearance going forward. Well, and yet, arguably, the Europeans are way more skeptical and, and quite frankly, suspicious about what companies like Monsanto, Mr. Grant, do. Uh, genetically modified seeds have been called a health menace by the French. The Germans call it frankenfood. How are you going to get around that, Mr. Grant? Well, we have uh, in, in uh, Europe, we have an excellent uh, seed business that, that doesn't have biotechnology. So we are number one or number two in many uh, European areas. So it's the old story. We, we, um, we supply what the market's looking for. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm optimistic uh, also. And I, I think we'll, we'll have a fair shake with uh, regulators as they look at the opportunities that this uh, transaction represents. And I think it's different. It's different from a number of the other deals that are being looked at at the moment in that there is such a separation. There's, there's very little overlap between the two uh, portfolios. I don't know. You say fair shake. I, I, I wish you guys the best, but it really seems like regulators are being very hard-headed about some of these big mergers. But let's get to this. Uh, Monsanto is the leader in crop science. Farmers here in the U.S. are facing freak weather. Uh, Louisiana farmers lost crops in deadly floods they haven't seen ever last month. California farmers have been praying for rain for years. They turn to you. Where do business guys like you stand on climate change? Arguably, your companies are the problem solvers during these century floods and drought? We believe climate change is real. 
We think agriculture can be a big piece of the uh, solution, and we think that this transaction really lifts the game for sustainable agriculture for decades to come. So this, this is a win for growers as well as a win for share owners. Um, the clock starts ticking now with the regulators. We will be watching and waiting along with you. Thank you so much. Mr. Bauman, Mr. Grant, we appreciate it. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you very much.